You are all right there? I'm not. I'm a bit flustered. Not entirely sure why. I woke up at midday today and then just watched several hours on end of Tracy Beaker, but somehow I'm a bit flustered and I don't really know what I'm doing. I was going to record the second dimension, but um, I, I can't. So I'm going to have to d do that before I can do this and everything's very confused. All right, so I've gone and done the thing, the, the Big Bang, only to <laughs> notice that Matt Shea's already done a video on it, doing it himself. Now, good for Matt, but that I think that shows up on me quite badly that I still haven't done it yet, but good on him. I'm going to watch that video after I finish recording, editing, uploading this, doing my politics homework, going to sleep, going to college, coming back. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. In any case, I have some missions to claim, which I thought I'd, I'd do on the video, because why not? It's satisfying, and I'd like to share the satisfaction with you, instead of having a short-lived satisfaction myself, only to realise how cripplingly lonely I truly am. So, here it is. Oh, that was, that was very, very game show host. Uh, here it is, the second dimension. Um, it's a cyclone or something. I don't know, it's probably important. L let's just give it a go. So it's called The Wormhole Opens, and it is a deadly no-continue stage, which fills me with hope and joy and makes me very happy indeed. Now, the fact that this isn't a merciless difficulty maybe adds to the argument that quite possibly, Mercy, this isn't as difficult as Deadly. But there's a debate going on surrounding that. Maybe people already know and I'm just dumb. Please let me know if you do know for sure. Not sure an official statement has actually been issued on it. But in any case, what I've got with me is the slot what I use to try, definitely try, not complete, no spoilers, Big Bang. And this is it. There you go. And seeming as I believe this is a star daily and I'm just going to try it with this. And if we fail, we're going to move on and try it with something else. So, the wormhole opens. Let's attack. And into the battle we go. Ooh, it's a what fancy background in that. Oh, hello, sir. Flipping it. Look at you. So, it's got, it's got stars rotating around it, as you do. They fade out now and then. But I assume that means it is a starred alien with bloodshot eyes looking much like me when I stay up late to do my politics homework. Right, let us not dilly-dally. Let's get started. I feel like not luring it too far because cyclones can destroy you in an instant by virtue of the way they attack. Let's bring out Megaphrodite. I guess if we can meet shield enough, we can cheese it. Cyclones typically have a very short range, so yeah. If we can do that, that should be fine. Although, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, oh, skurra. No, nah, oh dear. <laughs> This, um, this really isn't going to work, and I think I know why, is because I don't have enough anti-warp cats. If I brought in something like, you know those cats, what, rampage cats, or whatever they're called, something like that, they're warp blockers, so if I meet shielded with them, I think we're going to be alright. I mean, we're having a little bit of a saving grace from Blue, who's occasionally stopping the cyclone, but I feel like we're going to die imminently. That or it's going to be a very tense battle, but I mean, there's a star peng, which just means I'm going to lose. The star peng has infiltrated our, our ranks and has got too far, and we're going to die. Watch this, you see? We're, we're going to gonna die? Yeah, we, we've, we're very going to die. Well, I could see from that that it doesn't attack in the same damaging way as other cyclones. It seems weaker because it didn't destroy my base in the fraction of a second. Let's put some... Warp blockers in. What conforms? Well, we've got Rampage Cats. That's going to be something useful to use. I dare say we should have it as our expensive meat shield instead of Jiangxi, otherwise things are going to get very expensive indeed. Other than that, maybe we quite possibly have Zamboni Cat. The fact that it doesn't do as much damage as other Cyclones might make it a worthy choice, because apart from that, the only warp blockers we have are either already in the strat or not especially viable. Can Can is a melee cat, which isn't going to work well against a Cyclone, I assume. I might be wrong, it might be part of a strategy that everyone uses, and I might be extremely misguided, but that's how I'm going to consider that it works. Other than that, I don't especially think we really need waves, so I think I'm going to replace Manic Macho Legs with Zamboni, and we're going to try this. Come at me, you big fat Cyclone, and get some rest. Right, I'm going to start now. Bring out Megaphrodite and Zamboni Cat to sort of form a wall where the enemies will hopefully stop. And, oh heavens above, right, okay, so Zamboni isn't especially viable. It did not last very long, and oh my, this attempt has gone far worse than before. I think we need Jiangxi. 
I have made a very bad mistake. Can we keep it alive for a little bit longer? Cyclone, do you understand I need to keep my videos to a certain length? Please, let me survive for a little longer. I'll let you in, right? But just l let me stay here for a little bit longer. And then I'll revise my strat. He's not listening, is he? I'm, I'm gonna lose. You, you rude Cyclone, you. Right. Time for a wacky regget test. Now, this is quite dangerous as it might cost me this run, sort of. And I've only got one run's worth of energy left afterwards. I'm gonna do a little bit of a meat shielding test. I'm going to send out a Mana Crazer against a Cyclone and see how long it lasts because I want to see whether I should actually be using cheap meat shields and of course it's gonna warp it so that's a, that's a terrible test. I'm not even gonna find out. I'm trying to do a scientific experiment here, you dirty horrible Cyclone. Right, well, what I wanted to ascertain was if I should use cheap meat shielding, because if it can destroy uh, something like a Manica Razor in a very short amount of time, it's not worth spending the extra cash on them. I might as well have more cheap meat shields. But I couldn't test that, because it kept warping everything. And I'm going to lose again, aren't I? It's on my base, and that is staggeringly bad. It's just occurred to me that I didn't even put Jiangxi in, and I have Abrahama, who, by my own logic, is going to be useless against the Cyclone. I'm a bit silly. Right, I don't know if this is going to work, but what I've done is made myself have a full first row of meat shielding. We have three cheap meat shields. I'm not using little, little macho mohawk cat thing because it has a weird recharge time. We have Jiangxi because it can survive a lethal strike, something I believe which would be very useful. And we have Rampage Cats, still working to ascertain whether they're going to be useful, but they're warp blockers. Hopefully, they're going to be able to actually stay there and not be warped out of existence, unlike the other ones, which is another reason probably why I shouldn't use Mana Razor, because it's just going to be warped off somewhere anyway. I could be completely wrong, and let's be fair, probably am, but this is all by myself. Oh dear, never happens well when I talk about all by myself, but... Same Ubers, not Abraham at this time because, well, it's not an Uber and it's probably not going to be useful. We've got our True Form Me, Macho Leg Cat, and Castaway Seafarer, which, now thinking about it, that might not be useful either. I really don't know what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to go out on a whim and say this, right? No continue stages are annoying. Really annoying. Like, you want to test something. But you can't, because you just lose, and you can't start again, you've lost 200 of your energy, or you know, possibly even more. And it's really demoralising, and very sad. Right, let's start now before things get too close, save up for Megaphrodite, and go like this. Hopefully, we're gonna be just fine, alright, and dandy, and all of that. If we get some money from Celeboodle, great, let's get Blue, and some other units as well. And hopefully, you know, keep up a cheeky bit of a stack, which means that the Cyclone can't get to us. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Let's actually observe, see if the Rampage Cats are helping. You see, I'm not sure. They can survive a, a knockback, which is great. Oh dear, Megaphrodite just got warped. Well, I mean, she's going to stay at the back and do damage anyway, that's fine. And Blue can't be warped. But I'm, I'm still wondering, right, whether having Rampage Cats is useful. It, it, half is, half isn't. I can't judge this very well, right? But we're just about managing when there's no other enemies. I am worried for what's going to happen here. Megaphrodite's been outranged. Blue has been knocked back. It's on my base. And we are dead. That is it. That is quite plainly it. I am now very close to giving up. Right, so, after watching an energy recovery video and reviewing the footage, my energy is recovered enough to have one more go at this level and what I found in reviewing the footage is that I think I've been a bit of a spoon maybe I mean I, I guess that's a given really but in of getting rid of the eraser I think that was a mistake although it was getting warped it was lasting a lot longer than the little cats and that was enabling me to stay alive for a little bit longer so I think what I need to do is reverse my previous thinking and although rampage cats are anti-warp I feel like they're too expensive, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. My computer also appears to be making a strange noise, so sorry if you can hear that. There's not really much I can do because I don't understand computers. But in any case, we've got sort of something more generic. We've got Manic Eraser and Eraser, but we've also got Gato Amigo and Manic Mohawk. Now, I don't know if I should use normal Mohawk. I mean, I probably should. 
because Gato Amigo is good for knocking things back, I think. Genuinely, I have no idea. Maybe this in itself is a terrible mistake, but my Mohawk Cat is plus 72, so hopefully that makes it better than a Gato Amigo. Again, I've got no idea. But we've principally got Jiangxi in the middle as our expensive meat shield that survives a lethal strike, and I think that's the most important thing. The rest of the strat I'm keeping the same, because I forgot to have a look and see if Seafarer Cat did in fact be of use. That was a terrible sentence. Because I've got so many meat shields, I'm going to engage Rich Cat for this run. Now, in terms of Sniper Cat, I think about it, I don't know. I guess if Blue's gonna be slowing it, or whatever effect it has on it, maybe we shouldn't be knocking it out of that state so it can do more damage to us. I don't know though, but you know, I'm just gonna not bring a Sniper Cat. But Rich Cat hopefully is gonna help us with our cat spamming so that we just don't run out of monies and die. So, for the final time this video, whether it works out well or not, attack and into the battle we go. And now we already have enough money to make Aphrodite a long while before it gets to the base compared to the other runs. Now, I'm not sure about this in any way at all, but I'm just going to put Mega Aphrodite out now so we have a firm base. Hopefully it will do its attack and hit the Celeboodle. If not, I, I feel like we're in a lot of trouble because then we won't have more monies. We have got the hit, that's good, so we can get blue as well for some nice slowing and time to meet shield for my life. Now, I should have thought to bring a CPU, that's another thing. I am a massive idiot. And even with our maxed out worker cat, it is still difficult to meet shield enough. And it seems as if we're going to have to keep our ubers alive because I cannot afford anything other than my meat shield. So, I don't know, maybe the CPU would be a little misguided. I probably still should have brought it anyway. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, and this is a no continue stage. Now, for the cellar boodle, which will hopefully be hit. Good job, Mega Aphrodite, with the timing on that shot, yeah. Jackie Peng is here, messing up my speech and making me terrified because I, I just don't like it. It's a horrible enemy, but we seem to be pushing the Cyclone back. Looks like this kind of meat shielding is enough. It, the direction I went with the meat shielding was obviously wrong, and this is the best way to do it. But I don't know if it's the absolute best way to do it. What I mean by best is the best way I've tried so far. But bearing in mind this is me, it's probably still not a good way of doing things. We now got the problem of hitting the deploy limit, which I guess shows that we got a lot of meat shields out already, but it does disrupt our flow, which means if the Cyclone can get in and do a lot of damage, we might be stuffed. I'm gonna get another blue, whether I should wait until I'm in danger before doing that, I mean, I probably should, but I just want this to be over more quickly. We've knocked the Cyclone back, which is glorious. I love it when we do that, and I think I just had a full round of tapping meat shields without any coming out because of the deploy limit. Story of my life, I do things and nothing happens. But in any case, we seem to still be okay. Look at that, another Mega Aphrodite. I think we're gonna be just fine here. I think this is gonna turn out rather well. Boosted Regit possibly does it again. We've got some serious warpage going on, but we still seem to be fine. A lot, a lot of meat shields. I mean, the amount I'm spending on them is probably extortionate, but it's what we need to protect our cats. And when you've got the four uber boost, can you really expect the enemy to win? We knocked it back again, good news. Surely we should be getting there, I assume so. I mean, we've almost sort of knocked it back to its own base, it should be good. I mean, I guess if it stays alive, we can just start cheesing the base. And I can get my third blue. Lovely jubbly. Oh no, hang on, the Gregory's! No, don't do that, Gregory, stay away from me. Thank goodness for blue. They destroyed all my meat shields there. That was a little bit scary, my man. Come on, you're usually nowhere near as annoying as the star pengs. Don't start being annoying now, Gregory. You, you very bad boy. Oh, the deploy limit is, is really, really being quite annoying here. It's putting us in a lot of undue danger. It's let the cyclone get very close to our ubers, but luckily not close enough, and it's dead. Lovely job. I don't like the deploy limit, but, you know, it's there. And we've defeated the Cyclone, but now an enemy even more heinous, the Star Peng. Although I think we're four, five actually, I can't count, five Ubers. We're gonna be all right, and the base is gonna go down, and I won't have as many angry comments. I shouldn't have any, if you like Reggae, you idiot, you don't know how to do it. Delete your comment now, I've done it. I, I was a bit silly, but the level's been done. And for that, I am very grateful, because I won't be bullied as much. In any case, that's the second dimension, or the wormhole opens. It's a Stardalian Cyclone. 
lovely chap. With our uber boost and some questionable meat shielding towards the end, we've eventually managed to beat it, which I'm very happy with. So there you go. Another day, another cyclone. And I hope you enjoyed.